difference between gouache and watercolor, and we are visual people, so we have a little uh, demonstration to show you here. Yes. Um, so I have a traditional watercolor, um, which is just the same brand, Turner, um, and then uh, Mott is going to be working with the design gouache. So the biggest difference between the two of these, because they both will re-wet after they dry, and they're both going to be really bright and vibrant straight out of the tube. Um, the, the biggest difference is that this watercolor is going to have a transparency to it, mm -hmm. while the gouache is going to have an opacity to it. Uh, hence why we have a lovely variety of lines here. What we're doing right now is going to be considered a mass tone, which is mm -hmm. your paint straight out of the tube with no water in it. Yes. Uh, so, I'm dry actually, brushing. I, you know what, I'm going to need a little bit more than that because like, I just realized we're going to have to pull lines all the way down. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Boop. I'm gonna pull a little bit more of that. You can see just how thick it is when it's not mm -hmm. watered down at all, mm -hmm. and how dry brushing it, you'll get a yes. really fine now, texture there. I'm hoping you guys can see this on camera because I can see the line through the watercolor, especially when I get down here. Um, now, normally I would not go this thick. Like, there's even a blob of uh, watercolor up here that I'm actually gonna just take that and steal it and put it on my palette over here because I'm gonna work with that. Um, but this is going to dry and it's gonna have that line show through. Uh, this right here, when it dries, you're not gonna see it at all. Mm -hmm. um, now, I also did have a lovely example prepared for you yes. um, that we're gonna do the same thing here. Um, this side is the gouache. This is the watercolor. As you can see, it dried. It is, it's completely transparent. This is watercolor. You're going to get a really vibrant color, but it's transparent. Gouache, this is starting to be mixed with water, and it still has an opacity. Only until I start adding more and more water do you start to see that line through it. Now, the one very tricky thing to know with gouache is it's straight out of the tube. If you have it, it's like you said, it was like dry. Yeah, right? it gets very, very thick to mm -hmm. the point where if you don't use any water when you're putting down your gouache like this, you have a high risk of your gouache cracking. Yeah. 